Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna set it up to do all the micro fields first. You can do different types of fields. We're yeah, talk for, I can that. do I can do. It's got them all. You got the high school fields, NCAA, the NFL. Wallace Davis works for the city of Port St. Lucie Parks and Rec. He says what used to take a crew of three all day marking out a field with string, manual measurements, and pushing the line marker, this little robot known as Turf Tank gets it done in hours. Uh, about a, maybe two hours to do a full football field with all the hash marks. The city of Port St. Lucie went looking for a high-tech solution to paint all 30 of their athletic fields. Lo and behold, they came across the GPS-directed turf tank. We're in the process of designing and constructing two regional parks, one in Tradition and one in Torino, uh, and they're going to have a lot of multi-purpose fields and football fields and, uh, and baseball fields, so it's going to take a lot of uh, staff hours to line those fields. The city bought a turf tank and created this test program at McChesney and Swan Parks. Not only were they looking for something to paint their fields, but also a way to enhance the efficiency of their field crews. It's, it's really saved us a lot of staff hours, um, a lot of back aches, and uh, he's been able to um, free up his staff to be able to really take care of a lot of the other things in the parks that have been, you know, they get neglected. Wallace says he's got to keep an eye on the turf tank to make sure it doesn't go offline, but it beats having to stand in the hot sun all day marking out a field. A hundred percent lifesaver.